Hello, it's me. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys and girls, my name is Gaming Lulu, and today I wanted to tell you my futures for wait for the plans. <laughs> I was gonna say my future for the plans. It's vice versa. Uh, <laughs> I was I wanted to tell you my plans for the future. Oh my god. Okay, so okay, there's a reason why I I haven't been you know on YouTube. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, do do some videos, um, like, they make me happy and stuff, and I'm freaking happy and, like, completely appreciated that people do watch my videos and tell me that they're funny and stuff, and that they make them happy, that's, that makes me even happier, and uh, I'm not, I'm not really, like, okay, I, <laughs> I'm not really leaving YouTube. I'm still in YouTube. The only problem is that I've been stuck. I've been doing so many stuff around and been unable to even do one simple video. It takes me about three to four hours to edit a simple video. A simple 20 minute video because it, it mostly takes to 20 to one hour video and it sucks because you have to watch the whole thing and know what to cut you have to know what to put you know you have to know how to make it funny so I'm not away from YouTube I'm just it, it, and I'm not even taking a break I'm just unable to even do a video um, I'm doing this video because I'm I can at the moment I can and well there's a lot of things that I really want to tell you guys that's why I wanted to tell you my future plans and what I've been doing in the present okay so as you can see on the screen um, I put um, a, a picture that says support us on patreon be a part of this awesome project okay this project I've been working on with two other people for now because th there will be even more people working on this game and this is basically a fan game for Markiplier as you can see because you know I, I'm not just I'm, I'm not just gonna put Markiplier because you know he's a person I'm putting it because he's one of my heroes um, I gotta I gotta say that because even though he's one of my heroes he has taught me a lot of lessons I've been completely connected to him. I've known like everything that happens to him has happened to me besides the cancer and tumors and all that stuff that hasn't happened to me. But like everything else it just it, c it completely connects I I connect with him like completely and I I get what he wants, I get what he he does, I get like everything he does for people is the things I used to do a lot with other people. And I keep I still do it and that's what you know Markiplier inspires me. Um like every single day. It imp and inspires me every day. And I really wanted to make this game just for him. But well, not just for him because I want you guys to play it as well, because this will be actually will be actually a, a public game. So for those who really don't know, I've been putting updates like months ago, and I'm sorry I've been putting videos months ago and not now. And well, this game is going to be a point and click reaction game. So what about reaction? Well when you have to click as fast as you can have you seen the 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 point and click games that markiplier ha has had played um about the stick mans like the that has many many scenes well it's kind of like that one that that you have to click at a moment and if you don't click it something will happen and and those kind of stuff you know this actually is a, like a story based sim point and click reaction game so when i say reaction is i mean that you have to 
between your reactions and how you think throughout the game, um, the story will change, and that's what it is. So besides that, even though I've been working hard on a lot of stuff, I've been doing art. I've been selling art. I've been, I've been completely doing so many stuff that has kept me away from YouTube, and I really have to say this to you guys because I don't uh, like. There's a lot of people out there that ha I, I don't receive many comments on YouTube and like saying, "Hey, keep doing videos," but I do receive messages on Facebook almost every week. Every week, I. I find someone saying, hey, when are you going to keep doing videos? Hey, um, are you going to do a video about this? And then, like, they recommend me a lot of games. They have recommended me some other games that I have right there, right beside that picture that I have you right there. And I haven't played them. I haven't made a video yet. And, well, I have made Undertale. For those who really are lovables of Undertale, but there's a difference about my Undertale video. Even though I'm playing playing it with one of my friends, I'm also playing it from genocide first, and then I'm going to pacifist. People will be crazy, like say, "You don't do that. That's the worst thing you could do." I don't care. Like, <laughs> that's the point. I, w I wanted to make it challenging because I've heard that genocide, it's completely harder than pacifist. So that's what I'm going to try to do. But I want to see the change. I want to see what happens if you play the genocide first and then the pacifist. So let's move on. Another thing that I have been working on is a virtual reality game point and click game so let me give you a little bit explanation of what is virtual reality and point and click itself okay so basically let's just say it's me here and my body's over there but my body's going to attack me and so so i i just stay here and and then the the scene will stop and various buttons will appear and it will say punch guard or just don't do anything if you don't do anything then I'll, I'll i'll get beat up if if i press punch i'll punch if i click block i'll block the the punch or whatever he, uh, or however he attacks me and that's kind of the the thing that i was working on i was thinking about making a, a real life story by doing videos and, com and converting those videos into a file where I can completely make it into a game. Um, I, u I did a video like before months ago and it was funny because it, it didn't have anything on it so I, it, it was it wasn't going anywhere um, but I, I was just explaining what 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 was I was making and for some people I, I've shown in the, like I, I, I'm in I'm in college for those who don't know and uh, I'm studying like web design and all that stuff and I've been showing people my games like the the process the things that I've been doing I've showed them the virtual reality one and they've been like that's a good idea because no one has done it and that's what impacts me I want to do something that no one hasn't done yet so I, I started with the fan game, I started with the other virtual reality thing. So those are two things that haven't been done. Uh, Markiplier fan game that is point and click and a point and click virtual reality game. Okay, so what else? Uh, even though I've been selling art, I've been getting into pixel art a lot. And not just pixel art itself, I've been going into pixel art animation. So I've been doing animation with pixel art, which is it's basically the same thing. Just they move. That's it. <laughs> but still, okay. So even though I've been doing all that stuff, I've been also um, helping someone that is making a company, and uh, they want me as their graphic designer. So I'm helping them. Um, uh, like today, today they they um, the pr the person who is in charge of the company called me and she was sick. Um, she had a 
I don't know, she had a fever or something, and she was completely bad. And I've been stuck there. So I, I made her some logos. She liked it, but she wanted to change some stuff. And then she got sick, completely sick, for a whole month. So, yeah. So she called me today. She was feeling a little bit better. A little bit. She's still sick. But, you know, um, she keeps calling me and telling me that, you know, we will, we, it, it will happen. I, w I might be her graphic designer. I'll I'll do other stuff, and not just that. She wants me to give her ideas to m for her company. It's going to be a basically a, like a marketing marketing business kind of you know um, business, and not just that. It will be online. So for those who want to you know have publicity and all that stuff um i'll be working with her and some other people on that st on that stuff okay so beside all that work from college is horrible i've only been there for six months and the sixth month has been completely stressful i've had work i, ha I had homework that i i haven't even done and it sucks for me because I, lo I like I love college for the reason that I that I learned. <laughs> I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm a geek. So I love learning new stuff. And for some reason, I sh I don't know. I got stuck and couldn't continue doing homework. Couldn't continue doing work. I got stressful. I got I I started selling art. And then working on the game and then just forgetting about homework and that's not it I'm not supposed to do that so even though I just forget homework I forget YouTube and I and I know there's a lot of people that watches my videos I just don't notice and well I don't know there's a lot of things happening around and not just that um, parents you know I live with my parents but it, like it's hard to live with them and it's not just like hey you you can just move on m like m move to another place it's not easy why there's a problem i don't have a job and it's really hard to get a job here where i live aka puerto rico puerto rico has been falling down in very deep because um stores are closing and like you know a lot of people is spreading because they don't have the jobs they 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 get fired because the the store is closing and then there's more people that need more jobs and the, it's horrible so w what companies do is that they pick people that already have more more experience they don't pick people that doesn't have experience and that's the problem i have i only have like three four experiences and I have never I, I, I haven't had the chance to get connected somewhere and and like and they pick me no they sh I just go there I go to their interviews and nothing happens I tried my best I totally I go serious on it I I, I talked I talked to them without without being scared because you know when you get very nervous you're like and you can't and you can't even speak I I've been there in their interview and haven't been even that shy I haven't been that that you know and I didn't have that energy that that says don't do it I had that the energy that says do it and get that thing <laughs> get that job so I tried my best it's horrible and it's really hard to get a job here and I've tried applying, you know, uh, I want to apply to U the United States, but I need more money because I'm not going to let a company to just say to to say, hey, yeah, we will pay you a hotel. We will pay you the thing. That's not that's not the point, because what what if it, it takes that time where where I have to pay them back? what should I do like uh, and I know there's a lot of people out there where I can stay with 
but it's really hard to live from this place it's really hard a lot of Puerto Ricans have left this place and been on Florida and they want to go back because they can't they they can't even leave uh, they can't even live on their own there because the the way the way the life is in the United States is not the same how it is in Puerto Rico Puerto Rico for some reason is getting a little bit more poor than how it used to be we used to we used to be like a state we're not a state for those who for those who think we are a state we're not a state um, the governor didn't want us to be a state and probably they're thinking about it now they want us to be a state right now because of our of our economy problems and well yeah even though those things are happening so uh, what I'm explaining here about the government and Puerto Rico and that that I can't go fly away and or move to another place it means I don't have money <laughs> I'm totally broke uh, that's the reason I'm selling art even though I'm selling art I'm working on my on my college I'm, I'm a librarian that doesn't mean I have to read all the books. I literally don't have to. I just, I just, you know, give away the books. Like, you need this book? Here, have it. That's it. I don't have to read the books. But I'm still a nerd. I'm still a geek. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's what I've been happening to me. So, besides that, I've been selling... Even though I've been selling art and getting some money about it, but you know, I've also been getting sick and having huge art blocks where I can't even draw a simple stick figure. <laughs> like literally, I can't even draw a stick figure. That's how hard it is. Life is completely stressful at this moment. There's so many things I want to do. There's so many things that I want to accomplish and I don't have the opportunity sometimes I try I try my best a lot of people know how kind I am I try to be as kind as, as I can be I'm not a person that gets mad about anything I'm not a person that gets angry that easily I'm a person that just wants to be happy and and I'm still am happy She's like, uh, uh, like basically, this is the first time I get, I, I get stressed by something, and like, happiness is everywhere for me, and I can't just, you know, if I leave the happiness, then I don't know what I am, because when someone sees me and and looks at them, at, looks at me and says, "Dude, are you sad?" When they say that, it just hurts me because I've, I'm I'm not always sad, and basically I'm I I'm never sad. I'm always laughing at anything, literally anything. I gotta work on that, <laughs> literally anything. But I, you know, I shouldn't I, I shouldn't laugh at anything. That that's that's the point I should work on as well. But you know, um. When it when it get when it when it when it get when the situation gets serious, I get serious. But when I get sad, that's the problem because I'm never sad. I'm never sad. I never get sad, and never, never, ever, ever get sad. So, yeah, it's not that I'm away from YouTube. It's not that I'm being lazy. It's just that life has been so stressful. Life is being a bitch to me. Life is kicking me nuts 20 times every single day. Just to work on everything. I'm trying not to give up. That's what that that was one of my New Year's resolution to never give up on a project. And apparently, I, I feel like I'm giving up on college. 
Which that's supposed to be one of my other resolutions for the New Year's. <sighs> but it, at least it didn't work for for any project. I haven't I haven't given up on on the Market Blower game. I haven't given up on the virtual reality game. I haven't give up on art. Those are projects. I haven't give up, and but I have give up on freaking. <laughs> college college is i don't i don't know i at first w when i started in agus i really didn't even want to go to college because i, I didn't feel like i need to go I, i i didn't feel like i had to go to college but i felt forced i felt forced by my dad my dad actually wanted me to learn something But the things that I wanted to learn were all in the United States. I needed money to, you know, to go to the United States and study what I w really wanted to study. And so I, I couldn't never because I, since I don't have the money, I can't pay for it. And even though I went to this college, it's, it's even given me a hard time to pay it. And I'm I'm not even paying it. My own mom is is using her almost her whole paycheck to help me on college, and all because dad wanted me to keep learning something. I don't know. Like I like what I learned on college, but I, at first I didn't really want it to go to college, but. Then at the end, I started thinking, I do need to learn more stuff. And I had in mind, this could get me somewhere else. Because I'm, I'm doing web design. I'm working on how to even fix a computer. Which I need it because technology hates me. <laughs> I, and I lo maybe some of you guys know because they have seen that my computer has, ki has been killed. <laughs> Um, hard drives have been killed as well. A lot of things has been killed, and but I haven't give up. I've kept going, and that's the thing. I like I've never give up, but things went w went wrong, and you know, like it, it's like a fifty fifty on life. Fifty luck, fifty fifty good luck, and fifty fifty bad luck, and it hits me. <laughs> When I when I think I'm doing something wrong, uh, something right, it goes wrong. If I if I think I'm doing something wrong, it stays wrong, <laughs> it never goes right. But then it slightly goes right. <laughs> that's how life is for me, and that's what I really wanted to tell you guys. So yeah, th that's there's another update that I really wanted to tell you, even though I'm I'm also going to work. Well, not going to work, but I will do um, some videos of a tournament that my college is having. It's a, s a smash tournament, and I'm participating, but also I'm recording everything and also using my Wii U. <laughs> yeah, it, I, they, they will use my Wii U with all the characters and all that stuff, and... Okay, I, I've been I've been gaining all the money just to buy the whole characters because we're not gonna do a tournament without the characters, you know, the DLC characters, because there's a lot of people that uses their that like their main is part of the DLC characters. <sighs> so yeah, man, how long has this video has been? It feels like a stream or something. Uh, it's recording. Did it stop? Okay, <laughs> something happened, but I don't know what what was. Okay, so 24 minutes. There has been the huge update of my life, <laughs> apparently. I'm sorry for wasting this 24 hour and uh, 24 hours, 24 minutes with you guys, where I really wanted to tell you all of it. Like I, I really thank all of you guys I love you all I hope none of you give up on anything I hope you continue what you love and what you do in life and please 
please do not judge people <laughs> just kidding that's that that wasn't what uh what, what i was going to say but it's actually a good advice don't don't judge people um be good i be honest when you have to be serious when you have to be always happy don't let sadness capture you because sadness in these years captures people they, they take you and they they pull you right in a corner and it it's not good and so just continue in life I know you can do it if no one believes in you I believe in you if you think you can't do it I believe that you can do it if you think you can continue I believe you can continue so yeah this was all for today um, I'll try and upload some videos or you know I'll, I'll try what I can um, I was thinking to do more um, amiibo versus owner I might do one right now because <laughs> I've been practicing so much I think I can kill my own Sonic amiibo even though I call it my bullshit Sonic but you know I love my Sonic <sighs> but yeah I'll I might do a video right now about it and <sighs> see so yeah, I love you guys hope you continue in life do what you can don't stress yourself and advice of the day or the night wherever you are worry less and live more so yeah see you see you see you later bye